Today we're going to get over 170,000 kills in Survivor.io. This can help you do things like defeat a certain amount of monsters. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Survivor.io videos. So this is what we're going with today. We have King and we have Epic Grade Shiny Wrist Guards. They have two skills, Minor Explosion when monsters die and monsters death explosion damage doubled. So whenever you kill a monster, they will explode and potentially kill a monster next to them, causing a chain reaction. First, we are just going to stand here AFK. We are not going to move at all. We are going to select a certain amount of skills whenever we can, and we're going to see how many kills we can get. Whenever you AFK kill farm, you're going to want to choose the Kunai because it will automatically target enemies all over the map. If you choose to run vertically, you might want to use another weapon like the shotgun or the revolver. If you plan to remain AFK, you also don't want to select skills that will not hit enemies at the edge of the map, such as the Molotov or the Boomerang. But if you plan to run vertically, the Molotov is actually a pretty good skill. Also, another way you may want to try this is by running around for a few minutes, getting skills, and then going AFK. And I've actually tested that out before, and you will get more kills than you will if you just stand here. As you see, whenever we kill a monster, they will explode and kill monsters next to them. We are killing innocent bystanders here. Here is the first boss at the five minute mark and it is Corpse Hound. We killed them before they reached us. Unfortunately, we cannot grab that magnet. I told you I'm not going to move at all. We have surpassed 10,000 kills around the six minute mark and now more hordes of enemies are showing up. We definitely need more skills to kill them faster so that more enemies can keep on spawning over and over again. It would be great to essentially kill them before we can even see them. Here's another boss at the 10 minute mark, Giga Stinger. Maybe they can push us into something nope they are going to die all we have is a level one drill shot and our level two kunai and here come more enemies look at all of them i would honestly like to kill them much faster than this i feel like they are getting too close to us so the lack of skills we have here will potentially cost us around the 12 minute and 30 second mark i like to have about 120,000 kills but right now i have about 72,000, and that's about 50,000 less so this might be very bad we might see a very low amount of kills you see if we grab this magnet around the five minute mark we would probably be in a better spot than we are but here we are right here right next to croaky i'm the weatherman we have one minute to go and we have not reached 100,000 kills yet but we are getting close there we go we surpassed 100,000 before 14 minutes and 30 seconds but that's not enough it will never be enough and here is the final boss let's grab the magnet for fun and our total kill amount is 105,785 just by standing there with a level one drill shot and a level two kunai we also had croaky with us let's try things a little differently this time we are going to grab the magnet around the five minute mark when we kill the boss to see if it will make a difference i'll be right back here we go we killed the boss at the five minute mark now let's go get the magnet i'll grab the soccer ball <laughs> none of you i guess the lightning emitter i guess i'll grab the laser launcher here the drill shot fine i'm trying to find skills like the rpg that will hit targets at a range here we go there's the rpg there's the whistling arrow and we can also open up these chests here is the death ray there are some magnets down here so let's grab them too Here's the quantum ball. And you know what? Maybe we can check back later, grab this other magnet, and see if we can evolve some other skills. Let's grab the magnet around the 8 minute 30 second mark. Let's see what we can get here. Here's a 5 star lightning emitter and the supercell. All right. We definitely need more RPG. Here is the spirit shuriken. We evolved the kunai. And we definitely need HE fill so we can evolve the RPG into the shark maw gun. Let's go. Let's grab the exo bracer. That way, our overtime effect duration will be increased. So we can potentially hit more targets on the map also here is the ammo thruster okay look at this we have evolved every skill and half of our supplies are five stars so around 12 minutes and 45 seconds we have about 118,000 kills that's a lot better than last time we have essentially surpassed our kill amount from last time as well which was 105,000. very low but can we surpass 170,000 kills by remaining afk most of the time let's find out we have surpassed 160,000 kills can we get 170 I I mean, there is a magnet there I could have grabbed. There are also a lot of chests we could have opened. And we got awfully close. We got about 168,000. Look at all of these quantum balls. So 168,080. The shark maw gun is always going to get the most damage when you're trying to kill farm. It is a great skill to use. Well, most of the time. Now for our last test, we are going to run vertically up or down. We're going to do both. For the first couple of minutes, I'm going to get some skills. Then I'm going to run in a direction. I'm also not going to use the Molotov here. I do think it is a great 
great skill to use when you are running vertically, not when you remain AFK, just when you run vertically, because it will kill monsters that spawn behind you. I also want to mention that the most kills I have ever received have been when running vertically, also when using the revolver or the shotgun over the kunai. It could be different for everyone, but I've also tested this out so many times and I've always had more success with other weapons and while running. But sometimes it's such a small margin of success, it's only about a few thousand kills. As we run past these enemies, we are leaving a lot of them alive behind us. And something like the Molotov here can actually kill them. You know what, let's try it, let's grab it. I don't want to use Rona Nayori. In theory, the reason why some players choose to run vertically is because once you kill an enemy, they will potentially spawn faster, which means you can potentially kill more enemies. So that's what we're going to try to test out here. Can we potentially kill more enemies while running vertically? Of course, a lot of it is based on RNG and luck. I have also had a lot more luck using other devices than this phone here. Here we go, we are running at a good pace, killing enemies at a good pace, and no enemies are getting left behind us. I also want to mention that I would prefer to use the shotgun or the revolver while running vertically, but I'm just trying to test things out with the kunai, make things even. That way I can control where the bullets go, and the spread of the shotgun is actually quite nice in these vertical chapters. The revolver, on the other hand, just like shiny wrist guards, will cause a minor explosion, so they're pretty effective together. Here comes another boss at the 10 minute mark. Let's wipe them out. Sometimes grabbing the magnet and collecting that chest can slow you down, so let's avoid it for now. Also, using the magnet here while running vertically can also slow you down because look at all of this biofuel we are collecting. Soon we are going to have to select skills just like that, so we are getting slowed down. We have reached 12 minutes and 30 seconds. We have 111,000 kills, so we're on pace for about 167,000. Uh oh, we ran into a magnet. We are having trouble here. We are stalling. Stop doing this to me. At 14 minutes, we have about 145,000 kills. Here's 1440. We have surpassed 160,000. We need 10,000 more. Let's go. And we did worse than we did before. 166,658. I'm not satisfied. You're not satisfied. So let's equip the shotgun and go and get 170,000 kills. If you choose to run vertically, you might want to choose one direction to run and stick with it the entire time to optimize your success. Here is the Molotov. Okay. We just need to find the R RPG and we're all set. There you are, buddy. Terrible skill selection choice. I had to choose oil bond. Now I'm going to choose the laser launcher. These are not what I wanted. But you know what? You're not always going to find what you want and you're just going to have to play through it anyway. As you see, the bullets of the shotgun will penetrate through the enemy, hitting enemies behind them. And that's very effective for kill farming in a vertical chapter while running like this. Look at these mobs disintegrate like we are Thanos snapping them. Here's a boss at the five minute mark. Let's kill them, get their chest and grab the magnet. And here is is the Gatling gun. Let's freaking go. Here's the Gatling gun. Check it out. It shoots in a straight line, so sometimes you might want to do this. Go back and forth in a vertical chapter like this. That way, no enemies can sneak behind you. But really, it doesn't matter if you are wearing shiny wrist guards, because as you see here, we can just shoot straight, and all the enemies in front of us will explode and die. We have the fuel barrel. We have evolved the Molotov. Let's go. We also have the death ray. And in addition, here is the shark maw gun. Can we find sports shoes to evolve the soccer ball into the quantum ball? Ball, let's go. Or we can evolve the brick into the one ton iron if we find the fitness guide. Sometimes the brick can cause a lot of damage, but look at all of these balls bouncing around. So it does not look like we can find sports shoes, but I found the fitness guide. So I guess we can evolve the one ton iron. Let's go. This could actually be better than the quantum ball, but it's really up to us now to cause frontal damage. Look at this. We just have the soccer ball and we have the Gatling gun. Everything else is shooting behind us. Here's the 10 minute mark. Let's kill this boss. I guess we can collect the chest and the magnet. At the 12 minute and 30 second mark, we have 114,000 kills. So we might actually get over 170,000 kills here. Oh no, I ran into a magnet. We are getting slowed down now. At 14 minutes, we have about 149,000 kills. 150,000 kills. Let's go. I think we can do it. 169 and here we go. 170,000 kills. 17824. It's certainly possible to get over 170,000 kills quite easily. The shark mug gun had the most damage with 31 point 5 billion followed by the fuel barrel with 20.2 then we have the gatling gun with 17.8 billion so there you go guys we finally got over 170,000 kills on chapter 4 we had used the shotgun we had used shiny wrist guards and we had to run vertically but again it doesn't really matter you might get the same amount of kills or even more while remaining afk before we go i want to know your highest amount of kills put it in the comments below mine is somewhere between 173 and 175,000. i have no idea thanks for watching smash like and subscribe. I'll see you later.